This video contains explicit graphic materials and viewer discretion advised. Good morning friends, it's a very bright and beautiful morning at Thimpu. Today we shall be going towards Punakha, explore many good things over there. Uh, but yesterday we missed the post office because um, uh, Sunday the post office remains closed. Let's go and check it out. The videography was not allowed inside the galleries, but we could take pictures and a guide explained about the postal service, Bhutani stamps, etc. very well. There is a shop from where you could buy various collectibles and stamps, including the customized ones. So if you are a philatelist, you already know uh, the Bhutani stamps are very unique. Though the postal service started as late as 1962, Bhutan has the first 3D stamp, first musical stamp, first talking stamp, Queen Mother of Bhutan. Uh, she was very much fond of stamps and with her inspiration, this entire thing started. Uh, we spent some nice time inside the stamp museum, got some personalized stamps. This is the one. It's for me and my wife. Nice, nice. Okay. And then we one got separately for our kid. And it costed you I 500. So you should definitely come to the postal museum. Especially if you are a philatelist or a stamp collector, you cannot miss this place. You can now be part of our nomadic tribe and connect with other members by joining our Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. <laughs> The journey between Thimpu and Punakha is wonderful, especially as it reaches towards the Dochula Pass. We have come to at an elevation of approximately 10,000 feet, so it's quite cold here and windy. But today is a bright and sunny day, so we are actually enjoying the chill. And it's a beautiful place. The name of this place is Tochila. So La is a, it's a pass. This is the highest pass over like in between like Punakha and uh, Thimpu. Okay. And uh, the temples here, you know, like uh, you see all this 108 temple. Mm -hmm. These are the main attractions for tourists. The whole initiative was taken care of by our the royal grandmother. Okay, okay. So these memorial chotens were built to commemorate the brave soldiers of Royal Bhutan Army who led their lives to fight against the Ulfa and other militant groups who were doing all their militant activities in India. They did set up their camps in the Bhutanese territory in the jungles. So Royal Bhutan Army had a flash out operation and they were able to drive the terrorists away from their territory. Do remember this is a sacred site, so please maintain decorum and behave appropriately. I really feel blessed coming here. And if you are an Indian visiting Bhutan, you must come here and offer our respect to our Bhutanese brothers who laid their life to safeguard India from the militants. It's uh, literally freezing cold right here. I had to go down to get my gloves. Otherwise, I was not feeling comfortable. Actually, we could see ice flecks on the grasses. This is very, very cold. We prefer for that. It will be cold and windy, especially during the winter time. Unfortunately, there are clouds and mist cover. Otherwise, we could see the young Himalayan ranges with all snow-capped peaks over there. And there is a very famous restaurant overlooking the valley and the, the memorial Choten, but right now it is closed for renovation. Maybe we'll uh, try our luck while coming back. During our return journey, we got a little bit of snowfall here, but that's the story for another episode.
We stopped by this beautiful restaurant for having our lunch. It looks perfect and cozy. So folks, we had a very good lunch at uh, Menchuna restaurant. So if you are driving from Timpu to Punakha, you can definitely come here. I shall put the GPS location in the description of the video. Blazed by two rivers, Pochu and Mochu, Punakha is a very fertile land and famous for rice cultivation. We could see lot of agricultural lands as we approach Punakha. So now we have come to visit the fertility temple of Punakha and here also we need to buy tickets. So there are some general advisories which uh, one should follow while visiting such temples like uh, you need to remove your shoes and head gears, follow proper dress code, don't talk loudly and also we are not supposed to shoot or take pictures inside the temples. Earlier the vehicle had to be parked far away from the temple and the hike was longer but now there is some kind of motorable dirt road that leads to the parking lot here we need to have a short walk Building for this one, the credit goes to, it's, he's also one of the greatest scholar in like our Buddhist, Buddhism, no? He's, uh, he's known as Tlam Jukpa Kinle. And uh, the reason for him being like, uh, you know, famous is the teaching he had was quite different from the ordinary people, you know, like with all that uh, policies painting on the wall, you know. And the main reason for building this temple here is uh, once uh, there was a ghost, she used to reside in, on top of that uh, Dojula mountain. So she used to affect the people who were traveling from like Timbu, Timbu to like this part of the area with scent, you know. He knew about that one and like he chased her all the way here. Finally, after reaching in this place, what happened was she disappeared into one of the rocks here. Okay, and uh, I believe like uh, that's the rock there, the dark temple. That was the time when he tamed this demon there. Later in 16th century, one of his cousins and the descendant of his family, you know, we call him as Lam Ngong Chuje. Like he was responsible for building this one. <laughs> The phallus worship is very common in Bhutan and the fertility temple is a center of such practice. Also people believe childless couple are blessed with babies if they visit here. Tata, bye! The Punakha Zong, located between Pochu and Mochu rivers, is also known as the Palace of Great Happiness. Constructed in 1637, this majestic palace houses relics of Drukpa lineage of Tibetan Buddhism. So we are waiting here to get our tickets. I think we need to pay uh, 1000 rupees per head uh, for the entry. And this is the famous wooden bridge which is connecting uh, this side of the uh, river with this actual zone. Such a wonderful view. Amazing. Now we need to go inside the Zong. It's already close to 4 and uh, the Zong will be closed by 5. So we have very little time. There are many things to explore inside. So let's go. So we had to Remove our head scarves, caps and everything. You cannot cover your head and go inside. And also, you need to cover your arm and your leg as well. 
So do remember dress accordingly when you are coming to Punakazong. Punakazong is the second oldest and the most majestic fortress of Bhutan. It continues to be winter home for the central monastic body. The magnificent architecture is sure to take you above. So we just came out of the main building of uh, the Zong. The main prayer hall is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Uh, that is the place where the crowning ceremony and the marriages of royal family happen. Unfortunately, videography, photography, nothing is allowed over there. So I could not record. Uh, but when you are coming to Bhutan, you cannot miss Punaka Zong. So now we are going to the suspension bridge and it is getting dark, so we are running against time. Punaka Suspension Bridge over Pochu River is one of the oldest such bridge in the world. And with 520 feet length, it is the longest one in Bhutan. So we have come to the Iron Bridge. Unfortunately, it is getting quite dark. I'm not sure whether the camera will be able to capture whatever we see here, but it is absolutely fascinating. One challenge of traveling in Bhutan during winter is the day is very short. We just stopped here at the viewpoint to have the night view of Punakha Zong and it is stunning. So folks, we have now come to our hotel, Hotel Pema Karpo uh, in Punakha. The day has been really long, so we need to drop our luggage, freshen up and take some rest and then come for dinner. So our packing is all done. We will push off in a while towards Povzika, but wanted to go out and have a stroll around the river and behind me is our hotel Pema Karpo which is just next to the river and what an amazing view it has let me show you We spent some real blissful time by the river and if you are staying at Hotel Pema Karpo, you just come out and just bang opposite to the entry gate, you have this sitting arrangement. So next we are going to Popsika Valley, which is a little known place in Bhutan, uh, not seen by many tourists. I am ending the episode here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, give it a like. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you watch other videos of Bhutan travel series as well. 